Welcome back to Nine Figure Life. And today we'll be looking at the billionaire lifestyle of Joe Rogan. Stay until the end to find out how much he has spent on houses, watches, and other investments. Joe Rogan began his career back in 1988 in the Boston area, though he eventually relocated to Los Angeles in 1994. He signed an exclusive development deal with Disney and showed up on several television shows, including Hardball and News Radio. And then in 2009, he launched his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, which is known as being more popular and viewed than many media sources today. This year, Rogan signed a deal worth $100 million with Spotify to host the Joe Rogan Experience podcast exclusively on their platform for both the audio and video versions. As of 2020, Joe Rogan's net worth is estimated to be $100 million, and he definitely knows how to blow that cash. Let's begin by talking about his first home, located in the hills of Ventura County in California. Houses at Ventura County can easily cost a million or more, and Rogan's own house is located in the gated community in the hilled area of Bell Canyon, measuring a whopping 7,573 square feet. The home cost him $2.2 million when he bought it, which is actually quite cheap for a man that makes around $20 million a year. Rogan also bought another mansion in Bell Canyon, one of Southern California's wealthiest areas. The house has a reported price of around $4.5 million, and not only is it outrageously expensive, but also very stylish. His master bedroom is located on the bottom floor of his house, and it's completely open, with indoor and outdoor space, granting him a really fantastic scenic view of Bell Canyon from the safety of his bed. His $4.95 million property rests in an enclave of about 800 homes in the normally suburban hood, and also features gorgeous balconies and an infinity pool that would make anyone swoon in awe. When you walk in, you can see down into the bottom floor, into the dining room, out onto the patio, and into one of the multiple living spaces. The entire house is basically one big room, separated only by glass walls and a second floor. The second floor of the house also features a really cozy seating area, a doorless space, and a casual living room with fireplace and a TV. He also cooks the elk meat from hunting in his vintage kitchen. Not only that, but Rogan is also quite invested in his business. His famous podcast for which he set up a 14,000 square foot recording studio that has spent millions on making the perfect space for it. That setup includes a Shure SM7B microphone and 27 inch Apple iMacs. Rogan is also known to spend on his hobbies, as he enjoys archery. On top of being quite an accomplished hunter, even spending some cash in an indoor archery reign with a digital target. Of course, Rogan has also spent quite a bit of cash on his bow. Not counting all the add-ons that Rogan has put onto his bow, the base bow goes for over $1,200 US dollars. Rogan also has a private sports and conditioning gym that includes a sauna and a pool table. Rogan also has his own private sensory deprivation tank. A person experiences minimal sensory stimulation when inside the tank, allowing them to relax. The tank contains enough water for the person entering it to float on their back. Your own home sensory deprivation tank can cost between $10,000 and $30,000, and Joe reportedly spent around $20,000 on his own. Being a hard-working man, Joe Rogan also knows how to spend on cars to arrive with style to all his meetings and podcast recordings. His first two cars were from Japanese brands, the very first being the MKIV Toyota Supra. As his career progressed, Rogan upgraded to the Acura NSX. After these two cars, he moved on to the Porsche 911 996 Turbo, followed by the Porsche 997 GT3, then the customized Porsche GT3 RS he has today. The starting price of this car is around $188,550. On top of that, Rogan particularly likes muscle cars and has owned many of these across the years. He has a restored and modified 1965 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray featuring a great V8 engine. Watch Collection Rogan has been spotted wearing a Casio Protrek wristwatch, which appears to be a Protrek PRG 650YBE3, even mentioning it during his famous interview with Elon Musk. He was also seen wearing a G-Shock Mudmaster GG1001A3 on Instagram, and even wore the same watch during a podcast with car and watch enthusiast Matt Farah. After discussing a $10,000 Grand Seiko watch, Rogan sheepishly admitted to wearing a $300 G-Shock. Farah immediately stood up for the brand and said, G-Shocks are awesome. A G-Shock is a watch guy's tool watch, like highly functional, durable. A G-Shock is a total watch guy's watch. 
It's known that he wears mostly G-Shocks, presumably for their durability, functionality, and lack of pretension. Though that's not to say he doesn't wear more expensive models. Joe Rogan has been spotted interviewing multiple UFC fighters wearing a Panary Submersible, which looks to be the legendary Panary Pam 024. The Panary Pam 024 is a massive and masculine watch with a 44 millimeter diameter. It features a crown guard protector, a signature trait of Panary's watches, that pronounces past the case of the watch and adds to the bulk. In a talk with Elon Musk on episode 1169 of the Joe Rogan Experience, Joe mentions that he owns a Rolex that's been gifted to him by a friend. He talks about how he loves the mechanical aspect of watches, that they don't run on batteries. Though on that same note, he also complained about the inaccuracy of his mechanical Rolex, running about five minutes fast every couple of months, which is relatively normal for a watch with a mechanical movement. The Deep Sea can easily cost around $11,000 and is known to be a celebrity favorite watch, also being used by James Cameron, Sylvester Stallone, Buddy Velastro, and Dave Navarro. Rogan has also mentioned that he likes wearing Casio watches, he even seen sporting one that appears to be a Pro Trek PRG 650YBE3. At yet another UFC post fight interview, Joe Rogan was spotted wearing a Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 46, a watch that is pure glass. The Breitling Super Ocean has an approximate price of $2,600. Knowing how much Joe Rogan spends, it's no surprise he's also a pretty big earner. He has claimed that his show gets as many as 190 million downloads per month. Between ad revenue, live shows, and YouTube broadcasts of the program, Rogan made $30 million last year. And that's going to be next to nothing after taking into account how much money he'll earn from his exclusive deal with Spotify. Rogan's podcast is available on Spotify since the beginning of September, alongside other podcast platforms, but at the end of 2020, it will become a Spotify exclusive. While they won't have creative control of the show, and Joe Rogan will keep doing it the way he does, they are still taking him away from other podcast platforms and even YouTube. His show has 8.4 million subscribers and 2.19 billion lifetime views. So, how did he even manage to make that much money in such a short amount of time? It all boomed after Rogan began working as a commentator for the UFC, earning him many contacts in the communications industry, and eventually allowed him to host guests such as Russell Brand, Dan Bilzerian, Steve-O, and Tim Ferriss in his podcast show, and even Elon Musk in 2018. Musk was a guest on Rogan's podcast in September 2018, which turned out to be one of the most epic episodes ever, with Musk talking for roughly two and a half hours about topics such as artificial intelligence, the possibility of being in a computer simulation, and fancy Japanese swords. This one was definitely one of the most memorable episodes on the Joe Rogan experience. So, what do you think of Joe Rogan's billionaire lifestyle? Let us know in the comments.